Hello, my name is Ernie Rivera. I am six foot one from Los Angeles, California, and it is a pleasure to be reading for you today. Can I tell you something? If you laugh, I swear to God, I will never talk to you again. Music means more to me. With music, I'm never alone when I'm alone. Playing music? That's like saying I belong here. Hello world! How do you do? With music, nothing is, is close to me. I'm not afraid of people and what they say. There's no war in music. It's not like the streets. When you leave your room, down in the streets, it's war. And music cannot help you there. People have been hurting my feelings for years. I never forget. You can't get even with people by playing the fiddle. If music shot bullets, I think I'd like it better. People, people and artists today, they're, they're like freaks. The world moves fast and they sit around like forgotten dopes. I'll tell you exactly what it is. It's the cooking, and, 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 and the cleaning, and, and, and the crying. It's the talking in your sleep. It's those damn moose calls that open up your ears at four o'clock in the morning. Oh, I can't take it anymore, Felix. I'm cracking up here. Everything you do irritates me. And when you're not here, the things I know you're going to do as soon as you get home irritate me. You leave little notes on my pillow. How many times have I told you I cannot stand finding little notes on my pillow? We're all out of cornflakes. F you. It took me three hours to figure out that F you meant Felix Unger. Look, it's not your fault, Felix. We're just a rotten combination, that's all. Even now, I curse the day. And yet, I think few fall within the compass of my curse, wherein I did not some evil as kill a man, or else devise his death, ravage a maiden, or plot the way to do it, accuse some innocent, and forswear myself, set deadly enmity between two friends. Make poor men's cattle break their necks. Set fire on barns and haystacks in the night and bid the owners quench them with their tears. Oft have I digged up dead men from their graves and set them upright at their dear friends' doors. And on their skin, as on the bark of trees, have I carved with my knife in Roman letters. Let not your sorrow die, though I am dead. <laughs> Tut, have I done a thousand dreadful things as willingly as I would kill a fly? And nothing grieves me hardly indeed, but that I cannot do ten thousand more!